here at Lero Merlin in Greenstone and we're about to show you how to apply versus Venetian Stucco. Venetian Stucco is basically marble powders that's been crushed into a fine, fine um, powder and it's applied with a trowel, okay? It's very easy to apply. Don't let a trowel or a hand dock scare you. It's really easy to apply. Um, the trick is you always keep it very thinly applied, okay? You do not apply thick coats, you apply thin coats. If your first coat doesn't cover the wall, you'll sand it once it's dried, you'll sand, give it a light sand, and then you'll apply your second coat. And then after that's dried, you sand it down again and you apply a third coat. So you're applying three coats of stucco. And then on drying, when your third coat is dry, give it a light sand and you'll apply a wax coat. And what happens, the way the wax is absorbed into the marble powders gives you a lovely marble effect. Okay, so what we've done, just to speed up the process, we've applied the first coat of stucco, but the way you apply your second coat of stucco is going to be very similar to the way you apply your third coat or your first coat was applied. Okay, so off we go. Zeb is going to show you how to do it. Very important to know is that Stucco is an internal only product. You cannot apply Stucco externally because it's got a wax finish. The wax will not last externally. Okay, so there we go. It's just starting to apply it. As you can see, there is no correct or wrong way. You just need to apply the product and smooth it out. Make sure there's no ridges. Don't leave ridges like that. Just, just smear it onto the wall and have fun doing it. Again, you don't need to be a professional plasterer to a plasterer. It's literally a steel trowel um, and you don't have to use the same pattern over and over. Some people tend to go like this. It's not necessary. You know, randomly works perfectly. As you can see, all Zev is doing is trying to cover the wall, okay, or the board in this case. But all he's doing is making sure that he covers every little piece of wall. He's applying it very thinly because even if he hasn't covered it on first coat or second coat, on his third coat he will have covered it, okay. If you apply it very thick, it's going to mean that you're going to have to sand it down a lot more and it makes a lot more work. Okay, it doesn't make it look better if you apply it thickly. The product, incidentally, might start cracking if you apply it too thick. Okay. What we're going to do now is apply uh, a bit of sanding to it. And the sandpaper, just to get rid of a bit of excess material, it's always very likely sanded. Sand it down. Does it give it a light sand? The only time you just get rid of the excess material, so no hard sanding at all, otherwise you're going to go back to the surface. Like that. just to get rid of the excess dust okay and now we're going to use wax polish to we're going to rub it on just with a, a rag what we're doing we're applying the wax we're covering the entire wall with wax so it's not a section the entire wall and what happens 
the way the wax is absorbed into the marble powders is going to give you a lovely marble effect. Okay, and that is the essence of versus Venetian stripper. Versus Venetian Stuka and the wax is available at Lero Merlin, Cape Rickenstone. Uh, there are five beautiful colors um, that you can choose from and it's very easy to apply and it'll give you a beautiful marble finish when it's finished.